Okay, guys, we are getting right into it in this video. We don't have a lot of time to waste in this one because I want to talk about BlackRock. And I want to talk about, obviously, BlackRock buying Bitcoin uh, and particularly buying Bitcoin on this dip that we saw today. And if this is just basically pure speculation or pure manipulation, rather. Uh, and in another breath, this is pure speculation at this point. We don't have direct evidence. However, we do have common sense. <laughs> and common sense would tell us and show us that back in October, right at these price points right here, so this whole portion of the chart, this consolidation here, this is where Bitcoin just traded sideways. If you guys remember throughout August, throughout September and into October, we literally were range bound like 25, 26K, 27K, maybe popped up to 28, that was it. You guys remember that, right? Basically right in here, it seemed as if this entire market was being manipulated, was being heavily traded, but it also seems like now, since we've kind of come out of that range and obviously burst into the 40,000 plus range, there's no doubt in my mind that Bitcoin was buying up a lot of Bitcoin in this 25, 26, 27, 28K range, below 30,000. They were scooping it up. And now I think this big dip that we just saw, this big red candle that we're working on right now, by the way, we are coming back up a little bit. Uh, we, you know, we wick down all the way to 40, 40 some odd thousand, like below 41,000, which is crazy. And now we're coming back up to kind of be right, you know, in this line, you know, trending right in this line again. It seems as if we're consolidating yet again and getting ready for the next big burst that we saw. It looks as if that's happening. And we have been basically consolidating now for almost a month. Keep that in mind. Okay. And it looks as if the same thing that happened back in October is playing out right now. This calm before the storm, if you will. Right. And I think it's being manipulated yet again. And I think BlackRock eventually uh, is going to cause a demand and supply shock when the ETF news is released. And I think that is when we will launch uh, 50,000 plus and start getting close to all time highs again. And BlackRock knows that they want to be in control. And how they do that is they manipulate these markets, right? And I think right now without the retail money, it's very easy for them to do so. Now, if we go back, this was a tweet sent by Wolf of All Streets back in October, October 23rd, when we had a big surge. Remember October 23rd? This was October 23rd, green candle right here. We went from 29,000 and we wicked all the way up to 35K on this green candle right here, okay? To me, this was very apparent, this run up that just happened basically overnight at the end of October, where we went from 27K all the way to 35K, there's no doubt institutional money was buying in these ranges, right? And I think it's the biggest of the institutions. And so does Scott Milker here. He said, BlackRock is buying Bitcoin and preparing for ETF approval. The world's largest asset manager is moving closer to launching a Bitcoin ETF, evidenced by its iShares Bitcoin Trust appearing on the Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation website. The listing of the fund, which goes by the ticker IBTC, makes its first proposed spot Bitcoin ETF on DTCC financial market giant that handles trillions of dollars in daily transactions. This listing comes after BlackRock amended its original Bitcoin ETF proposal on October 18th. Scott Johnson, an associate at Davis Polk and Wardwell, pointed out that the amended filing included a QUSIP, a unique identifier necessary for North American securities. The filing also vaguely mentioned that seed creation baskets for the ETF would be purchased in October, subject to certain conditions. That means that Bitcoin uh, is BlackRock is buying Bitcoin, although it may be in small amounts. So basically this laid it out for us right here. I mean, they have to do this in order to uh, basically get to the point to launch this. So this is exactly what happened here. This is not retail money. This is the biggest of institutions. This is BlackRock buying Bitcoin. And I think eventually, you know, we're going to see it again. And I think we saw it here again uh, on our rise from 37 all the way up to 44. 
I think we just saw it happen, play out. And now what's happening? We're flatlining. We're flatlining. We're getting ready for that next big wave. And we're basically not giving up these gains right now. Okay, sure, there's ebbs and flows, there's ups and downs, there's people manipulating the markets, scalping, if you will, right? And some longs got wrecked here on the uh, on the wick down, okay? But I think BlackRock is certainly in control right now. And honestly, I think the only thing we can do as retail money is just play the long game and trust the process, right? Like, don't try to over trade. I mean, obviously, you know, if you're playing the long game with Bitcoin, your dollar cost averaging, that's what I'm doing. Sure, I took a little bit of profits at 44K just to have back and stable, but eventually that money's going back into Bitcoin, right? Um, or, or some other altcoins before it goes back into Bitcoin, okay? Overall, though, I'm still buying every single day. I'm not panicking. I'm just pointing out that BlackRock is manipulating these markets, and it's okay. Like, we could still win. It's just we have to understand what's, what's happening here and how it's playing out. So Bitcoin now still up 153% on the year even though as of yesterday it was up 175%, there's always going to be volatility, right? And basically, this is what killed our potential uh, here of continuing going higher, at least a piece of it. Bitcoin spot ETF rejection coming. Matrix Point warns investors of pending SEC decision. They're basically saying that it won't happen in January. Uh, the report suggests the final approval may not be achieved until the second quarter of 2024, which I wouldn't absolutely hate you know, we, we can have the ETF and the having come at the same time. That would be interesting. Uh, but Matrix Ports analysis further predicts a significant decline in the price of Bitcoin with recommendations for investors to consider put options or direct shorting of Bitcoin. The report challenges consensus expectations by asserting that the SEC will likely reject all pending Bitcoin spot ETF applications. And if, the, if this were to happen, we could have a buy the rumor, sell the news event, right? There's an outside chance of this happening. Um, and this is why I took some money off the table at 44K after, you know, dollar cost averaging at 16, 17, 18,000. Again, long-term, eventually that money will go back into Bitcoin. But if we do get a sell-off before BlackRock wants to continue to manipulate the market and buy at cheaper price points, well, I'll be ready to buy with them, right? Notably, it says major financial institutions such as BlackRock, Fidelity, ARK Invest, and Vanek have filed for Bitcoin spot ETFs, awaiting approval from the SEC. Meanwhile, Matrix Points indicates that they have observed frequent meetings between the ETF applicants and the SEC staff. These interactions led to the applications refiling their applications, or applicants refiling their applications. According to Matrix Point, all apps lack fulfillment of a critical requirement necessary for approval. They suggest this requirement could potentially be met by Q2 2024. However, the expectation is that the SEC will reject all proposals in January. And guys, let's just think about this for a second. What do you expect to happen here? Do you think Gary Gensler is going to be like, after what he said and all this stuff has happened, do you think he's going to be like, yep, let's sign it, no problem. Like, I'm expecting them to kick the can down the road. That's that's exactly what we should expect them to do, right? Now, it says the latest report emphasizes the political landscape at the SEC, indicating that current five-person voting commissioners led by the Democrats may influence the decision. I agree with this as well. SEC Chair Gary Gensler's cautious approach to crypto adds to the skepticism, yep, as he has not embraced crypto in the U.S. Exactly. He has not come out publicly and embraced crypto. Do you think he's just going to accept these ETFs out of nowhere? I don't think so. Um, this, according to Matrix Port, suggests a potential reluctance to approve Bitcoin spot ETFs. I think this is a really good point. I mean, a lot of people are super excited, and so am I. Like, don't hear me wrong. I just don't think we're there yet um, in terms of getting all these approved. The report suggests that Gensler views the crypto industry as requiring more str uh, stringent compliance, making the approval of a Bitcoin ETF unlikely. The potential rejection could have significant repercussions for the market. Matrix point, uh, matrix port estimates the approximately 14 billion of extra fiat and leverage have been deployed in the crypto market since traders began speculating on ETF approval in September 2023. If the SEC denies approval, the report anticipates cascading liquidations with Bitcoin prices potentially falling by 20%, returning to 36 to 38K range. Guys, I said I expected to get down to 38K before the end of the year, and we never did. Um, you know, I have it right here. I had it right here on my chart, that blue line right there. That is our 38K range. I expected to come down and retest those lows, and I thought we would, and we still could. So, like, keep that in mind. 
And that is why I took a little bit off the table, but I'm still buying a little bit every day, just not as much as I was, because I do think there's the potential that we could get a little buy the rumor, sell the news before we get a massive push back up to the upside. So hopefully this video helps you out, guys. I appreciate you guys for checking out this video. There's no doubt that BlackRock is manipulating us right now. That's okay. We could still play these markets. We could be smart and be ready for when these ETFs are approved and take full advantage. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Check out all the links down below in the description if you guys want to come over and trade with Margex. That is my exchange that I'm trading on right now, uh, up to 100x leverage. I'm not a huge leverage trader, but it is there for you. And they've got all your top cryptos as well. Links down below for that. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.